When you dial 911, the last thing you want is to be put on hold, but that is what's happening for some people. The problem is a shortage of bilingual dispatchers here in Tulsa. Two News reporter Brandon Richard looked into the dilemma. Well, Karen, we're talking mainly about members of our growing Hispanic community. Quite frankly, some don't believe they're going to get the kind of help they need in an emergency because of the language barrier. But the city of Tulsa wants to change that perception. The 911 Public Safety Call Center stays busy all day long, dealing with all kinds of calls all over Tulsa. But when calls come in from residents whose primary language isn't English, it presents its own unique challenges. If a bilingual dispatcher isn't available in the call center, the dispatcher who took the call has to dial a third-party translator. Usually it takes about 30 seconds for that transaction to occur. So the person is asked to stay on hold, stay on the line. Some in the Hispanic community have expressed concerns. The city hasn't necessarily had as proactive a, an approach to hiring bilingual speakers as we should have, and so we're trying to rectify that now. Attorney and Latino community advocate Marvin Lazama thinks it's long overdue. You never know when you're going to have, say, a visitor or a tourist, uh, a college student who's here uh, on a foreign exchange program who is going to need emergency services. The 2010 census showed us that uh, about almost 15 percent of the Tulsa population is Hispanics. So that is a significant increase from 10 years ago when it was just well below 6 percent. And the city's not just looking for bilingual workers. At this point in time, we need good workers to come apply and, and, and learn how to work in our operations, whether they speak Spanish or not. And you can learn more about what it takes to work in the Public Safety Call Center by visiting the city's website. Brandon Richard, 2 News, works for you.